Hi, in this video, we're going to be discussing how you can recover from a grade that you consider bad. So if you get a grade and you think it's a bad grade and it brings you down, how do you come back from that? We've all had bad grades and I think sometimes it affects certain people more because they're used to a certain level of performance. For example, if you're a student who always gets A's and all of a sudden you get a C, it can be a pretty big blow. Whereas if you're getting B's and C's uh, and you get a B or a C, it, it's, it's kind of like you expected it. But when, when you're expecting a certain level of you know performance and you end up underperforming, it can be pretty bad. So let's talk about it. This video was motivated by an email I received. It comes from a person named Shahad. And the subject is losing hope after getting a B plus. The message is the following. Hello, Math Sorcerer. I hope this message finds you well. I'm a student who just finished the first year of engineering. Yesterday was the results day and I was so excited to find out how I did in Calculus 1. Because before taking the class, lots of people were saying it was the hardest and probably it'll be hard to get a good grade. I didn't care much because I found your channel and it was the best thing ever. Also, I really, really, really love anything that has maths in it and I was enjoying learning calculus and fell in love with it before the grade came out. I was already learning calculus too by myself oh, and loving it even more. When the grade came out, I expected it to be at least an A, but it was a B plus. I was so destroyed and broken. Felt like I let myself down, my family down. Wish you could help me on how to get my motivation back and recover from the shock because I keep finding myself comparing my grades to others and it's just making it worse. Best regards, Shahad. So I know what a lot of people are thinking, oh, he got a B plus, you know, not the end of the world. And, and it's not, and it's not. If you're, if you're having that thought, I, I think it's a correct thought. I remember when I first got my first B, I think it was a B plus or a B, I was devastated because it ruined my 4.0. It was actually a college algebra class. I remember driving home from the final uh, just thinking, ah, I just didn't do enough. I just, just, I didn't make it. I knew, I knew that I didn't get an A. So in your case, it's worse because you thought you were going to get an A. You were so excited about Calc 2 that you started studying, well, Calc 1, that you were so excited about Calc 1 that you started studying Calc 2 on your own. I mean, that, that's what, that's what I think makes it harder in your situation. That's probably why you're feeling um, so destroyed. It reminds me of a time where uh, I was doing a, I was taking a test, an advanced calculus test, and there was a question on a test, and I thought, oh, I know how to do this question, and I was so happy that that question was on the test <laughs> that I proved it, and I put, thanks for putting this question on the test, it's a very good question. I got my test back, and I got it wrong. So, so much for, you know, talking smack and saying I love this question, here I am getting it wrong. So, it's, it's kind of like you, you know, you, you, you thought like, oh, I'm going to get an A, I'm going to self-study Calc 2. Hey, it happens. You should continue with your love of calculus. Do not let that grade destroy you, right? Don't let it, don't let it bring you down. It's gonna happen. Maybe, maybe the teacher was a hard grader or something, or maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe they took off too many points. I mean, that, that typically, sometimes that happens. Some teachers will like take off like a, an excessive number of points for like little computational errors, which I, I don't agree with, but hey, to each their own. That could be the case, or it could be you just missed a couple questions, you know, but. That happened to me in pre-calc too, by the way. I thought I was going to get an A and I got a B plus. So I feel your pain. It's going to be okay though. It's not like a C or a D or an F. It's a B plus. Uh, I, I think in time, after a couple days, you know, after the dust settles, you're going to look back and be like, oh yeah, not that big of a deal. You know, it, it's, it's a B plus. And life goes on. In 20 years, it's not going to matter. But you'll still remember it. You know, you'll, you'll still remember that grade. And you'll still remember that, that defeating feeling. But now you just got to come back and do better on Calc 2, right? Calc 2 is harder, so you come back, you get an A in Calc 2, and you have a good story to tell. Like, I got a B plus in Calc 1, but I got an A in Calc 2. People are going to be like, what is going on? Um, because that's, that's not typical, right? But you could do it. Does anyone else have advice for Shahad on how to cope with uh, the, these feelings of, of, of defeat, right? You know, you're, you work really hard, and... You don't get the results you want, which which happens a lot in math, Shahad. So I don't want to sound harsh, but get used to it, right? It's, it's going to happen a lot. It's going to happen again. And, and the really bad part is when you fail. 
You see, because you, you might have, you might get a B plus now, and then maybe down the road you'll get a B again, maybe a C, right? But if you ever fail a class or fail a test, I mean, that'll happen at some point. That's always pretty devastating, especially for people who uh, tend to get straight A's. You know, they, they take a class and they fail a test. It's That's one of the things that people who are used to being successful sometimes have a hard time with is dealing with those failures, those new situations. But um, you learn from that and you grow. And so when you're faced with you know adversity again in the future, when you have situations where you feel like you worked hard and then you didn't get the results you want, you know you only have one choice. You can just do better next time, right? That's all you can do because you can't go back and change the past. You can just focus on the present and the future. So yeah. If anyone else has advice for Shahad, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, I do have courses. Uh, I have a calculus course, uh, Shahad. <laughs> so I have calculus courses. They're on my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform. But if you get them, please use the links from my website as uh, it helps me greatly. But yeah, that's my advice there, Shahad. Just keep pushing forward. It's going to be all right. It's a B plus. It's not the end of the world. Um, I think that uh, a lot of people encounter this, right? And again, it's going to be harder when, when, when you when you do worse. And I'm, I'm not saying you're going to, but like, chances are, uh, it's going to happen. So yeah, B plus is no problem. You got this. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.